Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back today. I'm going to be talking about something that has been popping up on my timeline quite frequently. So I needed to know what it was and that is brown sugar babe body oils. A lot of girlies have been talking about it. I feel like it's gaining in popularity. So I just wanted to give you my little thoughts on these body oils. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Brown Sugar Babe is a black woman owned company and their main focus is self care. So their fragrances are actually inspired by some of the most popular niche and designer perfumes out on the market. So I didn't want to jump out the window and buy everything. So I decided to just get two. So I ended up getting Cherry Bomb, which is supposed to be inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And their latest release is My Tribeca, which is supposed to be Bond number nine, Tribeca. So I figured these were the two best ones to try for the time being to see how I liked them. As far as the packaging goes, I really do like how it looks. I like the dark amber bottles. But one thing that I really did like is that not only did it have this, you know, push pour spout, they actually had this protective like stopper. So I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to remove this whole thing or not, or just cut this off. I really don't know. But I did like the option of that, especially if you're someone who is traveling. Now let's get into the scent. I knew off top I was going to get Cherry Bomb because we all know Timmy Tom Tom, she don't be lasting long. So I figured that this one was great to try because we need some longevity. Now my skin is already moisturized, so I'm just gonna go and dive into it. Now, as far as the feeling of the oil, it actually feels really nice. It glides on beautifully on my skin and I don't feel any sort of tugging. It's not super greasy, but once it sets into your skin, it's actually really, really nice. Now the smell on its own, how it compares to the actual Tom Ford, 95%, hands down. Definitely 95% Tom Ford. <laughs> so, I really did like that because I'm like, ooh, maybe she can last a little bit longer. So when I did test it, I tested it by itself and it lasted on its own definitely longer than Tom Ford. I really, really enjoyed how this felt and then the smell of it, it was just like, okay, we can rock out for a couple hours. I definitely smelt it past lunch. So that was a great thing to uh, experience. So I was just like, okay, beautiful. Now, the following day, she layered it with Timmy Tom Tom. And <laughs> bravo, <laughs> bravo. It clung on to my skin. You can see the sheen of my skin. And I have hair on my arms, okay? I'm a hairy type bra on the arms. But you can see it left such a beautiful sheen versus just regular lotion. The lotion that I put on before I sat down was the CeraVe uh, moisturizing cream. So you can see she, she's got a, a good bit of shine to her. And you know, mama likes a sheen, okay? And I'm not really oily, which was also nice. And there's no sparkles, no nothing of the kind in this. But... When it comes down to the actual scent of this, I thought they knocked this one out of the park. It's really, really hard to have a cherry note within fragrances. So anything that's gonna just cling on to dear life, I think they did a fantastic job with Cherry Bomb. On its own, it was beautiful, but when it's paired with Tom Ford, it was absolutely hanging around much longer than Tom Ford by itself. And it gave you a really nice sheen. The sheen doesn't stay too long on me because my skin likes to <laughs> sop it all up. But when I first apply it, I, I love, love how it looks. Moving right along to Tribeca. Now I was excited about this one because not only was it the newest release, but I have been loving Tribeca lately. So 
Oh, oh damn. That didn't make sense. I rubbed my hands together. Y'all be all right. I can honestly tell y'all right now, Tribeca. <laughs> Tribeca is that girl. That girl. Like, look at, look at this. I did overdo it just now. But, oh my God. This smells so good. <laughs> I feel like this was 85% Tribeca. But I just really, really love scent profile so that's why even though to me it doesn't all the way smell like Tribeca it, it still has the essence of Tribeca which is lovely but look at that look at that lovely sheen Oof, child and then you throw this on it Tribeca needs no help for me on with longevity but does it smell like mm, Maybe I might put this at a 90. <laughs> yeah, I think this is more of a 90. And Tom Ford is 95. But I absolutely enjoyed wearing this because uh, it's the scent profile. It's the scent profile for me. They actually did the thing with this one. I've used this one the most because I have just been obsessed with Tribeca right now. I've been trying to like grab some of my spring fragrances, but something about Tribeca has just been calling me. And shout out to one of you guys. If I if I can find your comment, I'll post it. But one of you told me to layer Tribeca with Kaoli Yum Pistachio. <sighs> These two together, Scrumdelium Schist. This is why I really, really fell in love with Tribeca because I would wear these two on its own and it 1000% extended the longevity of Kaoli because, you know, she and I, we're frenemies. Like, I just wish she sticked around a little bit longer. She's one of those friends that just pops in and says, hey, and then you never see her for a while. That's literally the type of friend I am. But still, I love her essence, I love her presence. So the fact that it was able to stick around just a little bit longer, I was like, oh, oh my God. And again, shout out to, I, oh my God, I wish I knew your name, but shout out, you know who I'm talking, girl, I'm, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. Now that this has settled in a little bit, you see how I still have that sheen versus when it's like freshly applied? I still have that good sheen on my skin. I feel smooth, I feel grippy. That's what I feel, I feel a little grippy. <laughs> like I wanna be touched. <laughs> Trying to find the right words. Like I definitely enjoyed these body oils. They were slick. They're not so oily that you can't pick up and do stuff. Like I can still snap my fingers, but I still have a light coating on my skin, if that makes sense. But it's an oil, like you're gonna feel a little bit of oil because then you'll have a dry oil. It's def I would not consider this a dry oil, but I don't consider it like a oily slick, like you know that thick oil? That's that thick three C's oil? Um, I, I don't consider it that. It's got a nice sheen, movement, feel to it. It doesn't, I don't feel weighed down. I think that's what I'm basically trying to say. Overall, I think these body oils are worth it. Now, the perfumed oils are concentration versions of these. So if you're someone who has an allergy to, let's say, avocado oil, I would think that the perfume oils might be your best bet. I went online and I couldn't find which carrier oils that they're using for those. So do your research, maybe contact the brand and see what type of oils are in the perfume oils. But I, I actually like the body oils because I don't have to think about measuring and all of that stuff. I, I just don't want to do it, girl. But as far as the scents, oh, that that lost cherry, that lost cherry is definitely 95%. Uh, wow, yeah. So um, these have been on for a few minutes and you could just see that light sheen that I have on my skin. I just, I just love them. Now I haven't tested it 
in summer heat. So I might be singing a whole different tune. But as of right now, because spring has been kind of cool here in Jersey, th this has been really lovely. I've got to admit it. Some of the other scents that I'm curious about are Wild Card, which is supposed to be Baccarat Rouge 540, Creme de la Creme, which is Vanilla 28 by Kayali, um, Rich Auntie, which is Delina Exclusive. I'm not looking for a dupe for that, but I would love to see how that compares to it. And also Angel of Mine for Killian's Angel Share. If I were to buy more, those would be the four that I'm interested in. And I'll probably mix and match and see if I like the perfume oils versus the body oils. But they also have body scrubs and things like that. So yeah, you can just get your whole layering life on. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.